Welcome in everybody, Josh here from 8-Bit Goonies, and it's a wild world out there with surging sparks, right? So, just thought we'd crack some packs today. I have a few battle styles, just went to the grocery store, they still had them in stock. The chilling rain's all gone, but i uh, got those. I picked up a few, I went to get a box, uh, or a couple boxes, to be honest with you, they were out. So, I got three of those, or four of those, excuse me, and then some loose packs. Um... Everything just came in yesterday, and everything is gone. So down here in Australia, some of our biggest stores, good games, um, they're gone. In my local LGS, I went to three today. No Surging Sparks boxes left, period. Um, I managed to get myself eight. I got a sealed case and two back on the shelf there. I still haven't opened, and I, at this stage, I don't think I'm going to. So... We're gonna go with some loose packs and just just talk about the madness that is. Let's let's start with some battle styles just for fun. But yeah, I I just can't believe the hype around Surging Spark. I talked to the lady at the um, my LGS that's just literally right down the road from me here, and uh, oh, what do we got here? Got the Flapple V Max. Nice, that's cool. Um, yeah, that's actually a really cool card. Um, yeah, no, uh, she said that they got in. Uh, she didn't tell me exactly how much they got in, but she said she put the boxes out, and they were gone. They had one left this morning, and somebody came in and picked it up before I made it in. So, you know, they usually give me a little homie hookup uh, as a local regular. And, uh, oh, what do we got? We got another hit here. What do we have there? The Tapu Koko V. So nice. That's all right. That's all right. Um, yeah, I could, I just can't believe the, the madness that is this set. Um, and with the pull rates on it, and uh, I asked her, I said, are you getting more in? She said, she, she hasn't heard any more from distribution about more coming out. I mean, I'm sure there will be. I'm not saying there's not going to be, certainly. Um, <laughs> the old licky licky. Um, so I just don't know. Uh, what does that say for singles? What does it say for this Pikachu that's just going crazy right now? I saw that um, crazy auction on eBay. Uh, that's kind of funny. Let's see what we can get out of these guys, these hang tabs, and then we'll crack a few from uh, a box there. So fortunately, I uh, people do have packs, so uh, the, a couple LGSs that I frequent, they made a point to definitely hold some boxes back so that they can have packs available. Ooh, what do we got? Ooh, what do we got? Sylveon EX. Nice. So we're, we're getting a few hits here. That's good. Um... So that's good that, you know, there's packs for the kiddos and stuff. Because uh, there should be. There should be. There's got to be, right? Um, but, yeah, I've never seen this in, in anything. I Like I said, I've been in cards for a long time. I've been playing Magic for 30 years. I have never seen the hype like I've seen around Surging Spark right now. Surging Sparks right now. And it's just going to continue, right? I mean, next year sets are crazy. Um <sighs> I guess, what is it going to take to get rid of the hype? I don't know. I mean, I, I honestly think they could release a print run exactly the same size as they've already released, and it's going to just get eaten up. I'd buy another eight boxes if I had a chance right now at the cost I got them at. I did pre-order my case two months ago so i did get them for about 110 usd because we just pay that markup here in australia naturally uh it's always a bit more expensive um so i'm stoked that i got those i i haven't even actually got my case yet but i do have tracking and it will be here on i believe monday or tuesday so i'm not worried about that again that case is literally just going in the closet uh probably till my son is 20 years old and then he can do what he wants with it at that stage if i'm still around we can decide but for right now it's not going to get opened um my oh what do we got what do we got the melodic ex i love that's a you know that is a sharp here i'll give you guys that 
that's a that's even for an EX, that's a good looking card, I'd say. Um, I love that melodic um, special illustration. Right, that is such a pretty card. Um, but yeah, pull rates are tough. Uh, initial reports were one in every three boxes. I've heard it's come down a little bit. People are uh, it's coming out more one in every two boxes. Uh, but some of them, I saw just people are not. Oh, what do we have? What do we have? Nope, not uh Terrapagos. You know, but even that's even those base cards, they're sharp looking, man. I do like them. That if anybody wants it. Um, I don't know. I, I don't see, you know, even if they Pokemon announce tomorrow, we're sending out the same distribution that we initially sent out. I don't think that's going to affect prices at all. I don't. I think those cards, they'll just be eaten up, just like 151. It doesn't matter how much they put in the market right now. People have such an appetite for it. It's just going to just gonna disappear. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Obviously, going into Christmas, going into the holidays, you would think they're going to just start pumping some product out hopefully oh we got something back there the scramble switch um nice i like nine tails so hopefully I'll put that guy out there as a hit um Hopefully we see more product enter the market soon. I, and again, this is Australia. I don't know what it's like in the States right now to get product. I've heard it's hard, and if you can get it, it's definitely marked up. Um, and that's what you're going to pay, and that's fine. But here in Australia, you can't even get it at marked up prices. Um, like I said, I went to the midnight launch uh, at my buddy's card shop, and... He had already marked everything up. Uh, first of all, he sold everything left. He, I think he had three boxes left after the midnight launch, and he marked them to 220 each, and they were gone instantly the next day. So uh, he said he was going to hold a case back just to have packs on hand so he can sell packs, um, which is awesome. And I think he's, you know, that's that's good that he does that. Oh, what do we got here? Jasmine's gaze. Not the Jasmine's Gaze we wanted to see, but that's still a cool card. Not bad. All these here are just going to go into uh, Atticus's folder. My son, he's um, two years old at the moment. When he turns six or seven, he's going to have a heck of a binder to take to school and trade. And wah, wah, wah. So that's it for our packs today. Um, those battle styles, fortunate that my local grocery store stocks Pokemon cards now, and they get those in at, um, at a good rate. Like I said, they started about $4 US for them. So I, yeah, it's just the grocery store, picked up those three the card shops right next door to the grocery store. So yeah, anyhow, that was some surging spark and, um, battle styles. What do you guys think? Uh, have you heard anything? Now, I have heard. Little Birdie told me. Um, I do have connections. I talked to a lot of people. 151 is supposedly coming back around to Australia. Uh, Six-pack booster bundles, I believe. He might have said there was another product, but I don't know... Nothing, not the UPCs or the ETBs, obviously, but definitely the booster bundles. He actually took a pre-order, and he said he could get me some. He didn't know when, but he's been asked by Distro if they were to sell it, how much would he be interested in. Obviously, he said, as much as you can send me. So he asked me, are you interested? I said, yeah. He said he's going to give them to me at $40.00. Uh, Australian per bundle which is about 30 USD per bundle so I said I will take as many as you can give me so if we do get some six pack boosters of 151 that would be very exciting um, I did get a lot of 151 I bought a lot of singles and I do have in the closet a uh, couple UPCs and I've got an ETB 
down there on the shelf right there. Um, but I don't have nearly as much as I'd like, and I didn't crack much. I bought mostly singles and picked up a few sealed. That was really my entry point. That was when I first got into Pokemon, was 151. Um, uh, my whole life, I've never been into Pokemon. 151 kind of drew me in. Um, so if that comes around, I'll definitely be uh, letting you guys know, and I will definitely be probably cracking some just for the experience of cracking some. I went... Um, we have a vending machine close by. They do have 151 in there. They got Evolving Skies in there. Uh, right now, they want $15 a pack for English 151, which is about $11, $12 US. And they also have uh, the Evolving Skies at $30 a pack, which is uh, $22, $23 US at the moment. Um, I, I, I didn't buy any. I just think if this does come through and I can get these six-pack bundles for 40 bucks a pop, we will just stock up on those, and I pretty much have everything from the set. I do have pretty much every special illustration rare, I believe, from 151, and most of the illustration rares that I want. There's not much, I, but I wouldn't mind having a couple more of the, the big guys, the Charizards, the Blastoise, the Venusaurs. Um, love all of the artwork from 151. Um, I will be chasing, really, from Surging Sparks, I, I'm not that interested in the Pikachu. If it comes around, I'm happy to get it. Um, as I've stated, my big chase card from um, that was this one. So I've got it, and I've procured the Ladios. Um, I do want the Ladios as well. Um, I do have the Misprit to go with the, the full scene, but I do want uh, the birds. So that's really all I'm chasing left from this set. So I probably won't be cracking much more. I do have those boxes I was going to break, but at this stage... I think I'm just going to hold them sealed. They've already gone up so much, it's hard to crack them. Um, anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to give you a little Marka update from Australia because it is madness all over the world right now, and we are hurting on product, and fingers crossed we get it back in soon. So thanks for watching, guys, and we will talk to you soon.